hey you guys what's up welcome back to my channel it's your girl IJ if this is your first time being here you're welcome and if you are an OG thank you so very much for coming back for another video thank you for your love and support so yes I know many of you guys will be like what is this girl doing but yes guys we are doing this I know I know I'm just too much but it's okay let's get this done together okay so um what you're seeing in here this is my son's closet i decided to change things around i do not really like the wire right so this has been something that i've wanted to do for a very long time and what you see in here is something that was done by the previous owner so i wanted to change things around so i went ahead and i took down all the wire rights and stuff if you're interested in doing something like this, please guys have a design in mind, okay? I went to Pinterest, I browsed around for different closet designs and I did find what I wanted to do in this space. Because once you have the design in mind, then you can now get the measurements that you need based on the space you are working on, all right? So get the design first. So I already have the design in mind. So I went ahead and I took down the measurements and it's really important for you to take, just forget about the pain over my head right now. So I took down the measurements and I went to Home Depot, yes. I prefer to do this because I feel like once you take your time and you take down the measurements, you can easily get them cut down the wood for you, how short or how long you want it okay or to what specification i do have a wood cutter but at home but i think when they cut it it's much easier for me or easier for me i don't have to come and measure a lot so i took my time i took down the measurements and i went to home depot and i gave them the specification and i told them how many of what i need and of what specification and i was able to get that so right here i am taking down the wire racks and i'm also taking all the screws that on the wall and pulling them all out once i did that i went in and i started filling in the holes okay you need to fill in the holes if you want to paint it was just so many little holes that it was just bugging me so i was like you know what i just need to fill this up so i went ahead and i filled them all up and i let it dry for at least one to two hours once it was well once it all once it was dry i now went ahead and started painting yes i did paint that space the wall was looking a little bit bit up like it had scratches on it and stuff so i went ahead and painted it i had some leftover paint at home so i was like okay why not guys i live close to the airport so that's why you keep hearing playing all over the place okay so just ignore that so I went ahead and I painted the whole space and I did really like the way it looked because yes, I'm making progress and yeah, I'm getting there. So once I painted, I let the paint dry for about two to three hours. Look at those little boys. I let the paint um, dry for about two to three hours. Then I went to Home Depot. So when I got to Home Depot, I gave those guys the measurement and they helped me cut down the pieces that I needed in order to do this closet. So like I said before, if you want to do something like this, please take your time, take down your measurements. It's better to have a longer piece than a shorter piece. Okay, look how that wall looks good. And it's just one coat of paint, not too much, okay? And it's in the closet, nobody really see it, but I just really wanted it to look neat and nice. So I am back from Home Depot and this is one of the pieces that I bought. So um, I'm going to use this to determine the first shelf, the very top shelf. So that is what I'm doing right now. I use that wood and I just mark it around just to know where to put the first shelf. So I'm just going to let you guys see exactly what I am doing. And guys, you need a leveler, okay? You need that. If not, your whole stuff will be cooked or maybe have different shapes and sizes. But anyway, yeah, so that was why I had to use the first piece in order to level this out. And that is where the first shelf is going to go, okay? That is where the first shelf is going to go. So I did put that long piece at the center and then there's some little pieces at the side in order to hold down the first shelf. 
it's very easy to do this thing guys but you really have to sit and think about it so important thing you need to do is to put some screws i did use the gun you know the nail gun but then i did use screws at the side at the ends of the wood just so that it is nice and firm you can see the wood right there i mean the nail right there you want to do that just so that it doesn't fall okay you don't want to do something and maybe you're so fully in just one second so i did went in and i put in some screws just to make sure that it is firm and i used my magnet in order to find the studs you want to make sure you're putting your nails or the screws on a start okay you need to do that so this is me using here the nail gun just to hold it in place and then i go in and i use a screw and i put it and just know every at the end of every corner you have a start so it's very easy to to get that but if you need to find a start look for a start finder in order to find a start so that was the first piece i did after doing that my husband came in he helped me out to put the top piece okay so i'm going to let you guys watch this and see exactly what i am doing if you guys have any questions please do not hesitate to ask me down in the comment section and if you love videos like this I don't think I'm going to do this often but anyway if I have any project of this same nature I'll definitely try to do um, you know a video on it so this is my husband helping me out to put the very first show I needed his help here and when I do things like this guys I really do not need help because this is very th um, therapeutic for me this is something that when I'm doing something like this I think a lot so I just feel like when I have too many people around me trying to help I feel like they cloud my judgment or they cloud my thinking so I prefer to do something like this by myself if I need help I'll definitely call for help okay so that is why you see me do this by myself so nobody will be like oh wait it's your husband oh, he's not no 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 don't even go there okay so that is me just doing what I love to do I just need to have the thread. Look at the girl. Oh my goodness. I'm changing the um, the nail in the nail gun. Okay. So now this other piece, I need two pieces in the middle. This two piece is going to be somewhere in the middle. So yeah, you guys just see what I am doing, okay? And um, if I have to say anything, I will let you guys, I'll tell you guys somewhere in there, okay? So that is another um what how would I call it another equipment that I'm using and that helps me to cut that wood in the middle because what I actually did here was I wanted this two pieces see how it fits right in there that is what I wanted because I wanted it to be very steady so I went ahead and I cut those little pieces in the middle and I shot that piece the center two center pieces right in there just so that it is steady now once that was done i went ahead and i just nail got the whole thing and it was perfect guys it was perfect so i what i'm doing right now is i did the measurement of the number of shelves i want in that middle piece so that is what i'm doing then i did call my sister-in-law to help me fold it down while i just nail gone the whole thing so you're going to see how this part is going to come together it was so nice i really love the way it turned out now i'm like oh you did a very good job so what i'm doing right here now i'm supposed to put another shelf because i want two you know i want two shelves in okay i don't even know how to call this one but okay so i needed a shelf in both sides so that is why i put the little piece you know at the corner so that it holds it in place and then i just need to use the nail gun to just hold everything and this is very nice because if i want to take it out i can always take it out and leave it and you know have it out for a long if you want to hang a long dress or something so i went ahead and i also put the hanging rod see the girl see what i did so by this time it was getting late already so that's why the lightning is not so good and, um, and I was using natural light all along. So this is the finished look guys. Let me know what your thoughts are. I think I nailed it honestly. <laughs> oh my god. I love this so very much. Every time I get in there I'm like oh you did this. Yes we did it. 
So I decided to do it at the sides, I mean vertically or horizontally just so that you guys see how it looks from top to bottom. Now all those little um, storage bins, I got them from Amazon. So you can get it from Amazon. I'm going to leave the link down below just so you guys can see. So I have MJ's clothes and I have JJ's clothes in the bottom. So it's very nice. Let me know what your thoughts are. Please like, subscribe and share with your friends. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.